people, people are still moving here, just not as many, at least as compared to the people who are leaving. And after a decade of rapid growth, it will be interesting to examine the effects of a rapid slowdown. All that to say, we still have a lot of new people moving here to the state of Oregon, and all of you need to fully understand this issue I'm having with my rug. At this point, I mean, it's going to need at least two, maybe three days of consecutive sunshine, or things are going to start getting funky. And there's no guarantee that I'm going to get that. So to help us kind of understand the change of seasons in the Pacific Northwest and what we should make of the rainy season, let's turn to the chief, Matt Safina. First, I have to address the rug because last <laughs> fall, my <laughs> wife did the same thing. Ah, thank you. Put one out for the pod school, and I'm like, dude, really? It's not. And, and we had to throw it away. It Every got year. funky and moldy. Every year. This year, we had a new one, and I moved it in before it rained. So See? You just got to do you that. You learn I don't. I also did not know we are going to go Simon and Garfunkel on this show. Hey, that was a know. surprise. Uh, <laughs> I, I like that, too. And for all the dudes who moved here from California, um, it was raining in Los Angeles, San Diego, up to Santa Barbara yesterday. So they were getting rain and thunderstorms there. This is the sunshine out of the Oregon coast right now. This is the rain situation that we're being, that we deal with as we go into the month of October and through the month of October. So we call October 1st the beginning of the water year. That's just a fancy way of saying instead of going from January 1 to December 31st, to count up the yearly rainfall. We'll start that year, the water year, on October 1st, and then go to September 30th. And we do that because this really is the start of the rainy season. And if you do it this way, as opposed to the calendar year, you encapsulate one rainy season into your 12 months, as opposed to the tail end of one and the beginning of the next, if you use the calendar year. So that's one metric of the fact that, yes, we are going into the rainy season. Now, the odds of rain on any one day during the month of October, if you split it up this way, the first half of the month, October 1st to the 15th, 27 to 40%. So, you know, better than even odds that you'll have a dry day. Not really the story for the second half of October when the odds go as high as 57% on any one day of having rain on that day. And that's just historical data. The numbers prove that out. So we, as we go through the month of October, the odds of getting rain on any given day are going increasingly higher throughout the month and I usually tell people by the time we reach mid-October it's game over. It's the rainy season and odds are expect rain as opposed to not and you know today's the fifth so we're close to that right. Um, the rainfall for the month is more than double what it is in September. So if you enjoyed the summer in September and the beautiful weather we had in September, October is a different animal. We still get these great halcyon days where it's going to be beautiful like it will be on Thursday like it was over the weekend. But the rainy season is upon us, and this year it's starting a little early, Dan. Back to you. Uh, say goodbye to my patio rug. Matt Safino, thank you very much.